Are you ready to take your trading game to the next level? Do you want to understand the ins and outs of leverage trading and how to use lot sizes to your advantage? Well, buckle up because you've come to the right place. Welcome back to our channel where we are all about helping you achieve consistent profits in the exciting world of volatility index trading. If you're new to the game, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate your leverage account like a pro, making the most of every lot size and maximizing your earning potential. From the basics of leverage to the nitty-gritty details of lot sizes, we're going to cover it all. So grab your notepad and get ready to take some serious notes because we're about to dive deep into the world of volatility index trading. Before we dive into the exciting world of volatility index trading, it's important to understand the fundamentals. And that starts with knowing what a pip is. A pip, or percentage in point, is the smallest unit of measure in forex trading. It's what traders use to calculate their profits and losses. But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let me break it down for you using the Jump 10 index as an example. Imagine we entered a trade at 86,690 and placed our stop loss at 86,680. To determine the size of our stop loss in pips, we look at the fourth digit. In this case, we can see that the difference between the two digits is 1. That means our stop loss is just one pip away from our entry point. Understanding pips is crucial for successful trading, so make sure you have a solid grasp on this concept before you jump in. And if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, don't worry, we've got plenty of tips and tricks to help you master the art of trading in, in no time so, let's keep going and explore the exciting world of volatility index trading together. Now that we've covered the basics of pips, it's time to talk about lot sizes. Lot sizes refer to the number of units of a particular asset that you trade in a single transaction. There are three lot sizes to consider, 0 0.01, 0 0.10, and 1.00. Each of these lot sizes has a different name. The 1.00 lot size is called a standard lot, the 0.10 lot size is called a mini lot, and the 0.01 lot size is called a micro lot because it's the smallest. Now let's talk about how much money you can make or lose with each lot size. I could show you an online calculator, but instead, I'll give you an example with a micro lot, the smallest order that you can place on the Jump 10 index. With a micro lot, you would lose 10 cents per pip. So if you lost 10 pips, you would lose $1 on a 0.01 lot size. And since the mini lot is 10 times bigger than the micro lot, the same goes for the amount you would lose or gain. On a mini lot, you would lose $1 per pip. And on a standard lot, you would lose or gain $10 per pip. It's important to keep in mind that the bigger the lot size, the bigger the potential gain or loss. But don't let the numbers scare you. With the right strategy and risk management, you can maximize your profits and minimize your losses, no matter what lot size you choose. So let's get ready to dive even deeper into the world of volatility index trading and explore more tips and tricks for success. So say you got into a buy position, and this price went up to 86720 and you had one standard lot on it, you'd make 30 bucks. Now you might be asking yourself cool I understand but what is a standard lot? Like what is the unit of measure on that? A standard lot is 100,000 of that currency, so basically to make a one standard lot size order, you have to have 100,000 of that currency, so technically you would need $100,000 like physical dollars to buy an entire standard lot of that currency. So you can see that without a leverage account that's not feasible by the normal person. I don't think that you have $100,000 sitting in your trading account. That's where leverage comes into play. So again, 100,000 units for a standard lot, 10,000 units for a mini lot, and 1,000 units for a micro lot. So understanding that now you can understand why we need a leverage account. So whatever money you have is leveraged by a certain amount. So basically, if you have a 1 to 1,000 leverage account, whatever money you have in your account, you have the buying power of 1,000 times that. So if you have a $100 trading account with 1,000 times leverage, you have the buying power of a $100,000, meaning that the maximum lot size you can do is a one standard lot. Again, this seems super complicated, just because I have this all scribbled on this chart. 
but there are calculators online which I'm going to link down below. There are free websites just type in numbers and it'll give you the money amount you are going to make or lose and one of my favorites is this one. All you have to do is enter the entry price, stop loss level, and optionally the take profit price. Lastly you will need to enter the lot size you want to use and that's it. You will get the dollar amount you will be losing if price does reach stop loss and the amount you will be making if price hits your take profit. This calculator works for everything including boom and crush, so I highly recommend you use it to improve your risk management. If you're still watching this video, that means that you like it, so I'd appreciate it if you just hit the thumbs up button below, and if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos and learn and develop your trading strategies, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much and we will see you in the next video.